Hey, again, you guys, part two. We are here to see what the big change coming for this connection is. If you missed part one, I would suggest go watching that first so everything else makes sense here. Um, it's going to have the same thumbnail and title. It'll just say part one instead of part two, okay? We're here to see what the big change coming between you and your person is, what's coming next, okay? And then after that, we are going to, woo, okay. That flew right out. We have the Phoenix. Okay, that's root chakra energy. We're going to get channeled me messages out too. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. Talk to me about what this big change is. Hmm. Some sort of brave move, potentially. Bold move. Cutting the BS out. Okay, and then we also have the lizard. I'm going to get one more card out, you guys. Hold on one second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Positive energy. Okay. So in part one, we talked about conflict, resolution, being a potential, okay? I am seeing that happen, but it's not just going to be like all sunshine and rainbows, okay? I feel like you and this person are going to maybe have an argument during this next chapter, what's coming next, okay? Some sort of an argument and a hashing things out, but it's for the purpose of cutting the BS, this card always reminds me of like a bull in the china shop energy. It's like something is being unleashed. A lot of pent up energy is being unleashed, okay? Um, and I feel like that's going to create this change. The two of you are going to be having a big time discussion. You're going to be purging out all the BS with each other, really, really, really being sensitive to the subtle information you're receiving about one another. And in the end, ultimately, it's going to bring a more lighthearted energy back into this connection because of that, okay? Um, now let's get out some channeled messages to see what your person would have to say if they felt like they could be totally honest at this time. We have love me. I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Your person does have a desire to bring love into this situation. Again, they seem to have a really, really optimistic outlook about you and your connection. Um, it's important to them, okay? We also have no. So if you have a yes or no question on your mind right now, the answer to that could be no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was way too many. What else did this person have to say right now if they felt like they could, okay? They are waiting for you. This person could be waiting on you to communicate with them first or to reach out to them or make amends to them first, okay? I meant what I said. So this person, if they said something very impactful to you, they meant it. They want you to know that. And then one more message. You already know. Mm -hmm. You already know the truth about this. I'm gonna leave this reading here. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day and until next time.